As you can see behind me here, there's a space in the Renault garage. Tom Wilde's here, which means Scott Petta and Dale Moskett are missing again in the longer stage. Three this morning, halfway through, they've hit something, apparently bent the arm, they're stuck in the stage, and it's game over for them in their championship. It means they'll probably lose their second place in the series to Tom Wilde by the end of the day. So a horrible weekend for, uh, for Renault, and particularly for Scott Petter. But for the other guys, the battle is still on. The conditions are better. The tricky thing for the crews now is under the trees in the shaded area, they've got to pick the slippery parts to the road that's firming up. So even tyre wear is coming into it and tyre choice. So they've got 70 more kilometres to go, there's plenty of battles going on, a rally to win and it's all coming down to this. I think we're 12 seconds up so yeah. I would have taken that this morning if yeah. someone offered it to me. So I'm um, feeling confident, um, the car's running really well, tyre selection was good, I'm able to drive as fast as I can and, and not have any tyre fade or anything like that. So I'm glad I went in the hard tyre, it's definitely paying off. It's amazing how from yesterday's conditions where it was just everyone talking about slush to now how firm it is. You're wearing tyres out, you don't have a tyre issue or allocation problem at all? No, no, we've, we've, we've got it spot on basically. Okay. We've got six tyres left for the rest of the day and we'll use all those yep. and um, we'll make sure we're in the best position to make it 12 from 12. The big question halfway, can you bridge 12 seconds do you think? Have you got it in you in the car? I think it's definitely in the car. I've just got to pull it out of somewhere. We're trying to work on a few setup things now. Uh, looking at some split times, just working out where we've lost the time and yeah, I'm sure we can try and improve on what we've been doing. It's part of it, isn't it? There's more to this game. It's the notes, it's the committing, it's the looking at where your strengths and weaknesses are and obviously that's where Glenn's been helpful for you as well. Yeah, and we've just come off a 33 kilometre stage and you have no idea until you get to the end what time you've done. So it's so difficult to pace yourself on a stage like that, especially when there's changing conditions. You've got fast uphill, uh, really narrow, muddy sections and then some really twisty sections as well. Uh, so the car overall performed really well, but to Eli it might have been worse on the uphill but better in the twisty section. So that's where we need to try and capitalise on these next two stages. We just had the, those power issues obviously all weekend where we dropped about 25% power I think. So that's just hampered our results but it um, looks like we've just cracked a gearbox mount as well. So uh, it, it will be a case of definitely nursing it through now. So um, if we can get through to the end of the event then uh, uh, we might get a podium third, third for the weekend which will be good, really good considering the problems we've had. What's your game plan here? Just keep the same rhythm and mo uh, momentum or are you actually pushing or trying to learn more or develop anything? I'm actually not, I know people always say this, but I'm not pushing that that hard. Like, I'm still having a go, don't get me wrong. Uh, the juniors are the things I need and I need to finish for that. So, uh, look, the third outright, I know Tommy's having some traumas, but look, he's in a works car and this car's probably yeah. <laughs> even older than him. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, look, try not to get in the hustle and bustle, but as you know, you're a driver. You pick the pick the spots, that's for sure. It's family time. It's like a crèche here at Honda <laughs> with Eli's kids here and that as well. It's good though. It's part of what you do this for, isn't it? The family really embrace it. It is, and that's why Honda's been so great. You know, it's a real family company, and they and they let us all in. So this isn't even mine. This is Scott's, <laughs> but he's stuck out in the forest. So <laughs> well, Scott does have a few of them, so you can share them around a bit. Oh. I see Granddad over there somewhere as well. Yeah, I know he's like king of the kids. So no, it's um, it is great that you can involve your whole family in this sport, and that's what you know. That's what we love about it. Yeah. Um, mate, for you, um, 70Ks for potentially the last run with Honda. Do you think about that, get emotional a bit about it or not? Because your you, you heart and soul's in this sort of a team, isn't it? It is. And look, Claire and I actually chatted about it on the way in, and it is a little bit sad that um, such a sensational car and a sensational team, and for the last, you know, three forest stages, it's it's going to be a bit emotional. So, yeah, nah, looking forward to it. But at the same time, it would be nice if it was another, you know, sort of three or 400K.